So let's take a look at how to create new features in Feature Turn, and more specifically, what features can you create from dimensions in Feature Turn. So let's take a look at the Steps menu, select item number 7 for Features, and the New Features window opens, and we're asked what kind of feature would we like to make. And in Feature Turn, you can create holes, grooves, threads, faces, cutoffs, and bar feeds from dimensions in, uh, it's relatively easy to do. And we'll just quickly kind of just go through this. Uh, for example, holes, you select next. You can specify the depth, the diameter, whether or not you have a chamfer. Um, for grooves, you can select several items uh, or several characteristics of your groove, the diameter, the depth, the width, a chamfer if you have an angle, uh, a bottom radius. So there's quite a bit of information that you can give uh, or specify for a groove to be machined. Threads, and note that uh, the illustrations um, in, the, uh, in the new feature dialog box, just like in Feature Mill, shows us uh, just a quick synopsis of what this feature is. In this case here, we see threads. Um, click Next, and we can either enter the thread dimensions ourselves or we can get the thread dimensions from a standard thread. And typically this is what you'll do. And note that you can cut outside or internal threads. Um, and here's your designations to select any thread size, um, standard or metric. We can do a facing operation where we face off the end of the work. And it's asking us uh, the dimensions of the facing feature, in this case here, the thickness of the facing operation, we've got by default set uh, 30 thousandths of an inch. We can also do a cutoff operation. It's similar to grooving. However, in this case here, it's, uh, it, it also allows you to be able to put a chamfer um, on the end of the workpiece prior to cutting it off. And then it's asking you for the overall outside diameter of your part prior to um, cutoff operation being conducted. Mm -hmm.